I am preparing for a big tour and today I'm trying to solve a bit of a conundrum with my rear fender. So this is newly installed and I have two issues. One, where it attaches to the frame, it's too low and I'm getting some interference when I remove the rear wheel. And then in the back, the mud flap isn't long enough and so I'm getting spray on my trailer, which if it's just water, that's fine, but I know I'm gonna be riding through farmland, I'm gonna be rolling through farm runoff, probably manure, and I'd like to avoid getting that muck all over my trailer. So I've got a couple of options here. Um, there's about an inch and a half from the bottom of the fender to where it attaches. So I could, there's attachment points in two places. So I could just rotate the fender and move it around an inch and a half, but I'm not sure that an inch and a half is gonna give me enough of an extension on this rear flap. And I'm probably gonna have to add to it. And I have, I have something I can zip tie to the flap to um, extend it a little bit. And I'm kind of thinking at this point that if I have to add something to the mud flap, extend it, then I might just cut this part down here where it interferes with the removal of the rear wheel. Um, I'm headed over to my friend Dave's house. We've got some decisions to make. Come on, Myrtle, let's go. All right, so what did I end up doing? I had a few choices to make this adjustment and repair to my rear fender. And, you know, just to kind of give you a bit of back history and why this is so important, I am trying to be more proactive on this tour and learn how to make repairs that involve the rear wheel. My big problem has always been that, especially since I added the roll off speed hub, I don't have the strength to take the wheel off and then lift the trike to get it back on and installed. And that is really what I'm trying to accomplish is I have my cone to help me lift the trike and now I need to know what it takes to remove the rear wheel and put it back on. So I'm definitely going to be doing another video where I describe that, probably not talking about flat repair or any kind of repairs to the rear wheel, but just actually taking the rear wheel off and back on. It'll be very short, something that I can use when I'm on the road and anybody could use if they need a little refresher. So um, let's look at the trike and I'll show you what I did. So with the help of my friend Dave, we walked around the trike. We considered a number of options, things that we could have done to resolve this issue. What we ended up doing instead of simply rotating the fender so that I would get more of an extension on the mud flap and then um, I would clear the wheel, um, Dave decided that it would be better just to cut this part of the fender. So now I have clearance with the rear wheel when I'm trying to remove it. And he fashioned a longer mud flap it's actually from an automotive mud flap. He just cut some of it and attached it with zip ties. Uh, but I think that this is a really good solution, particularly trying to keep farm runoff and manure muck from spraying up on my trailer. And I think since we had, we decided we were gonna have to extend this mud flap anyway, it didn't really make sense to rotate the fender. So yeah, what do you guys think of our solution to this issue? So, um, you know, now I'm gonna be able to get this wheel on and off and there won't be any interference. So let me know what you think. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Stay safe, be healthy. Thank you for watching. There are a number of ways that you can support the Moto Myrtle USA trike tour. My friend Andy O'Neill, a trike rider out of Southwest Missouri, 
has put together a contact form, a database, and a website. And if you would like to join me on the tour, fill out the contact form. This will help me to schedule meetups and group rides as I go. He has also designed a donation page where you can give to my tour directly. So he's got a number of things that you can donate to, bike parts, bike repairs, food, accommodation, and you can give as much or as little as you would like. You can also become a member of my Patreon. You can join for as little as a dollar, and this is a subscription, and you can decide however much money you would like to donate every month to keep my tour rolling. Myrtle's Merch Store is also open, and you can buy products like the hat that I'm wearing. There's cups and t-shirts, flags, water bottles, uh, a few items that you can purchase and I'll make a little bit of money from that. All of the links to these things are in the description of this video and every video and I really appreciate everybody who has already donated, bought products, become a member of my Patreon. Your support means so much. Thanks again.